All right, Matt, thanks. Arkansas and Oklahoma is seeing an increase in abortion patients from Texas. Of course, this comes just weeks after Texas approved the nation's strictest abortion law. Five News reporter Michael Wilson spoke with a University of Arkansas law professor and Planned Parenthood about all this. Joins us now live in Rogers with the latest. Micah. Darren, Texas women are now crossing state lines in order to get an abortion. Many of them are coming to Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. And real quick, I want to step out of the way to show you that people are already gathered here at this Planned Parenthood here in Rogers protesting the abortions. And we want to be clear in our reporting, the clinic is not yet, uh, and they cannot perform abortions yet right now. On September 1st, Senate Bill 8 went into effect in Texas. The law forbids abortion except to save the mother's life once an ultrasound can detect motion in the fetal heartbeat. This happens in six weeks of pregnancy, which is only four weeks after conception. We're going to see an influx of Texas, uh, of pregnant people from Texas right now, right? Because practically speaking, there's no ability to get an abortion there after six weeks right now. Planned Parenthood Great Plains provides services in Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri. So we have seen well over 500 patients from Texas just this year alone. That's an increase in abortions from last year, which was around 250 patients. You know, patients are, are coming to us. They're scared. They're frustrated. They're disappointed that their own state has failed them in such a way. Texans are able to come to Arkansas because of a preliminary injection, which blocked Arkansas's near total abortion ban bill introduced this year. But that injection is only temporary. We're still later going to have a full trial at the district court to figure out if the law is unconstitutional. And it does appear to be. And just like the natural state's bill, Lynn suspects to see challenges for the Texas bill. Is essentially depriving pregnant people of their constitutional right because of how it is enforced. Right? Um, and so at some point, court, uh, some court is really going to take that on substantively and tell us whether that's okay. For now, Lynn says she expects people to continue to cross state lines in order to get the abortion. And Planned Parenthood says many people are really fleeing to Oklahoma in order to get the procedure done. We're live here in Rogers covering news where you live. I'm Michael Wilson, 5 News. All right, Micah, thanks. New at 6, the